Okay. So, so I'm going to rotate this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a render that I can use a keyframed camera and do it like a turntable. But I'm going to show you how to keyframe a camera. Uh, it's really easy, obviously, yeah. But we are going to use R node. So you wanna have that loaded. Uh, so from Windows, Settings, Preference, Plugin Manager, and scroll down and use MTOA. So I was told I saw some tutorial, they don't recommend you to have it auto load. If you tick auto load, it means whenever you start Maya, uh, the plugin comes in, like it's automatically loaded. But I heard some people don't recommend that. So uh, we do it whenever we need it. So that the name is MTOA. It's not very straightforward. I know. Yeah. And load it and close it. And now you'll see this R node icon. And there's also R node tab here. Yeah. Um, okay. So we are going to make a studio setup. So I'm going to make a plane. A large plane. I'm going to put some color there as well. And in order to, to not see the background line, I'm going to control E, control E to create a wall like that, like a studio. And if I press three, it does something like that. And it's it's like covering this thing, right? So in order to prevent that, I'm gonna show you by pressing two, you can add in uh, insert an edge loop there. So you can go to mesh tool, insert edge loop, and in the option, we can just use relative distance and just click on this geometry to add an edge loop and you watch what happens. If you add another edge loop, it becomes sharper immediately. You see that? So that's that's the two edge loop I would add to sharpen, sharpen this geometry a little bit. So make sure that our chair area is flat. Okay. So that's a very simple basic background setup yeah and for arnold render it's better to use arnold material so we are going to go to windows um, rendering hyper shade this is material editor and uh, oops yeah you don't need to snap there okay so what we are going to do we are going to create a new material here so we're going to uh, search. So from, why is this so small? Okay. So here we see our notes tab. And in the inside shader, let's use not, yeah, let's use, yeah. AI standard surface. Okay. So if you click on it, it's automatically created. Doesn't have a preview here. You can change the material. Um, by. Yeah, you can change colors here and yeah. But let's apply this. You can apply, you can apply this material like this, click on it and say right click and uh, assign material to selection. You can do it like that or you can right click, say assign existing material and you assign the material from here. It's up to you. Okay, and you can also control A 
And if you or geometry has a material with it, you can find the material from the geometry um, assets. So that is here. It's much easier to check in real time, like what kind of color you want to apply and stuff. Yeah. So you have matteness, translucency. I'm sure there is also, yeah, you can, you can explore different materials. Yeah. I'm going to, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to use dark red for now. Yeah. And let's see. Okay. Let me. It's also. Okay. I'm going to just use white background in this case. So for this guy, it's also better to add the Arnold material. So what you can do is you can do the same like before, or you can just here right click assign a new material and that's easier to access the same things. So in the shade there Arnold, you have AI standard surface and that's the AI standard surface. I'm going to make it a uh, ground and ground can have some kind of color but not too white, have a little bit of grayness. All right. Yeah, so they are good to go. This one, I also want to name the material red. Okay. So yeah, this should do a good job. Um, yeah, I'm just very sad about this intersection. Okay, uh, let's go to Arnold and open Arnold render view. Let me see, where's the window? Okay, the window popped up here. Okay, so if you say start, it's going to grasp the, uh, the render in real time. This will slow your computer down a bit, but we don't have much uh, in things here going on, so it's okay. But if you just wanna have like, not so frequent updates you just like use this one to update so the, it's very dark because there's no light yeah but it's actually working yeah so what we need to do is we need to add a r node light okay make sure this is not in the play mode because it's gonna constantly update and slow down your computer so go to r node Go to light and add an area light. You could get an area light there. And you want to scale this up. And just make a studio setup, something like that. And the exposure is zero by default. So I'm going to boost this up to 10. And then if I update, yeah. I see something now, right? So it's too low. So I'm going to say 20 and update. It's too light. So I need to find a nice in-between color. Okay. So that's, I'm going to put this right there. Yeah, this is slowing my computer down. Yeah. So I'm going to use this view and make an update. Sorry. Okay, so you see this one is like rendering a lot, but we just need a preview, isn't it? So for that, you can go to the view and say test resolution can be smaller. So let's say test resolution can be smaller. So it doesn't update all the time and render is full quality. Okay, so 
that looks pretty good, but I think it's a bit dark. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another light. Just copy this. And put it quite high up there. Make it a little bit larger. See if this leads the geometry well. Oops. Okay. It's too small. Yeah, so we can test render 50%. Okay, it's became lighter. Yeah, definitely I can try with the intensity. Yeah, but I will just make this one slightly lighter. 16. <clears throat> okay, maybe that guy as well. Hello. Hi. Sorry, my, I apologize. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, this looks okay to me. Yeah. And I'm gonna explain a few settings. Maybe let's just do a full screen. Okay. So in the in in the render. Let's go to modeling. No, sorry, rendering tab. <clears throat> and we have render, render settings. Okay. So we have to change a few things there in order to uh, make some changes in this image. You see that some noise on this, on this, uh, ground and stuff so there is a way to improve that a little bit yeah so change this to arnold renderer obviously and we go to arnold renderer setting and if you boost this up this is the sampling uh it's going to slow down our computer for render but it's going to improve the quality so let's Let's change the view resolution to 100 and let's update this. You can also um, make selections in this room uh, and you can also rotate around if you have 3D manipulation on. Yeah, but we don't have to do that now. Yeah, I think you see this, uh, if you're not very happy about this noise, if you bump this up, like you do it slowly, like try four, five and six. Like maybe I'm gonna try six and this kind of noise will uh, be, will improve. So you do it with your own uh, time because this drastically uh, slow down. Uh, also, uh, this is if if you have specular, like we have specular, like we have reflections, right? Shiny material, you have to have this. Um, but trans transmission like glass, if we don't have glass, you can just put this zero because I don't have glass now, so I don't have to sample glass. So surface scatter, surf, surface, subsurface scattering. Yeah, this is like wax kind of texture. We don't have that, so we can also turn this off. Uh, volume indirect, I don't, I don't know what this is. Yeah, let's just put this zero as well. So you can also, uh, improve the time by like turning off the sampling for those materials that you don't have in your scene. Okay, so this um, became much better. Yeah, 
So this is looking pretty good as an object. Yeah, and cast its shadow on the ground very well. So let's render. Yeah, but I think I don't want to render it too high. Uh, so I'm going to bring it down to maybe four. Um, yeah, because this is just an example. So I think this is pretty nice. I'm going to just save this image um, on my desktop, test render. Uh, let's see. Saved as a JPEG, yeah. And it's pretty good. And the quality of this is 96, 540, which is not enough for our exercise, all right? So you need to change those settings in the render setting. So go to common, and because we are going to render a animation, right? So we, I'm gonna also explain a few more things there, but just first thing to do is to change the image size to, HD 1080, that's what you want, okay? That's 1920 by 1080. That's the video that you need to produce, all right? So make sure that you change that. And then I'm going to come back and explain some other things after we set up the camera. All right, so I'm going to, for now, I'm I can close this for now and let's set up a camera. So it does a turntable or like walks through or whatever you want. Yeah. So firstly, I'm gonna show you how to free pass, make the free camera pass. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you how to make a proper turntable camera. So right click, we're going to create a camera. Let's make a camera. Yeah. So the camera is somewhere it's generated somewhere there. Yeah, and look, it's looking downwards. So we need to, uh, we need to rotate that 90 degree. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And if you want to look through this camera, you can go to panels, perspective, and now you have two perspective cameras in ortho, you have front side top view, yeah. But you can uh, just switch to camera. So now you're looking through this camera number one. And if you are moving around, you are moving the camera, which is great and very easy ways to navigate. And let me, let's say, okay, now, I might want to start from here and maybe I want to render somewhere far. I don't know. Yeah. So if that's maybe what you want, you can say, I'm going to start from this angle. All right. Or, or let me start from this angle like that. Okay. You are in frame number one. Mm, and uh, for this purpose, uh, I'm not, uh, yeah. So let's let's calculate how many frames do we need for 30 second video. Uh, so for 30 second, you know that normal keyframe, you need 24 to 30 frames per second, okay? So let's say the minimum minimum is 24 and times, 30 seconds is 720 sec, uh, frames that you need, all right? So uh, we can go back to, uh, now uh, the 3000, we were using it for blend shape. So we don't have to worry about that now. Uh, we can reduce this to 350 frames. And let's say we are going to start from here and then I'm going to select the camera and select all of these parameters, uh, translate, rotate, and right click and key selected. <clears throat> okay. And then you move to maybe 
somewhere, somewhere, somewhere there, maybe. And then maybe by that time, I might wanna look at this thing from here. Right click, key selected there. So we created the key there. And by this time, I want to maybe see this, maybe from here, doesn't matter. You wanna maybe see from here and you key this. And then by the end of this clip, I don't know, this path is bad, yeah. Don't worry, yeah. Uh, and right click and key, okay. So now if you play this, it's very fast. You don't want to have this fast, but like, I just wanted to show you how to set up multiple paths. Okay, but uh, let's say, let's make a proper turntable. Yeah. So instead of keying this, I'm going to just uh, right click and uh, break connections yeah so if you do that you are canceling all the keys okay so it's saying uh, you you went back to okay so <clears throat> there's two ways for turntable you can rotate your camera or you can rotate your geometry it's the same thing yeah so it's same uh, i'm in this case i'm going to just rotate my camera around like that yeah so what i'm going to do is i need to have this geometry pivoted the rotation should be pivoted somewhere there right so what i'm going to do is i make my camera under a group um just group it control g doesn't matter yeah and i'm going to i'm going to key this camera yeah and now the good thing is the group has the centroid centered to the center which is same center as my chair but what if your chair is somewhere there then you might want to also change the group center to your chair center <coughs> so let's imagine uh that <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> So you want to move your group to the center that you want to rotate from. You can move your camera according to uh, what you want, how you want to see it. And then we are going to make this rotate around the Z for 360 degree. That's it. So let's go to zero, uh, one, first frame, right click, key selected, and go to the last frame, and key this to 360. Right click, key selected. So if you now play, it's too fast. I don't recommend you to have such a fast turntable. Uh, let's say then we can always come back to this key and change this number to, let's say 90. And then I'm going to come back here and change this to minus 90. Okay, let's see now. Oops. <clears throat> I didn't, it didn't get updated. So minus 90 and key it again, key selected, go back to and say 90 and right click key again. Now you updated the key. I think it's still too fast. So I'm going to change this to minus 30 to right click. Key 750 and 30. 
and right click key. Okay, it's better, but I, I feel like you can be you can be still much slower. But okay, if we are fine, we, if we are happy, we can go to the render now and change some settings so we can start render them as a sequence. But before we do that, we need to set a few things. We need to uh, set the file names. So the file names should have a number sequence. So the file name, I'm gonna set it as red chair, whatever, yeah. And image format, let's do it either JPEG or PNG. And come down here and you want to change this render of a camera to camera number one. Otherwise it's a rendering the wrong camera. Okay, okay, yeah, I think that's it. And also if your system allows uh, render with GPU is faster, yeah. So normally rendering with GPU is faster. So let's see, <clears throat> let's accept that and then yeah, and then I think we are done. Yeah, so go to render and go to render sequence, go to option, make sure you are rendering is the camera and you can browse to and make a new folder. Say red chair image sequence, okay and select, yeah, and you are all set. And you can say render and close and you can go to sleep. Yeah, so I'm going to just uh, render few and I'm going to stop it. Yeah, because it's going to be, I have some sequence rendered as a, as a reference. So I'm going to work with that. I'm, so I would just render, like run it and go to sleep, yeah. Uh, so do it before you uh, go to sleep. And this one is going to render um, why is this not rendering? Is it rendering? This is going to just render a frame, finish it and go to the next frame and finish it and so on. So, but this didn't render Oh, it's possible that I didn't set something. So, okay, let's go to render. Okay, okay, forgot to set something. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So in this, oh my God. Yeah, I didn't change this thing. So the frame animation, you need to always allow this sharp to exist so you can render and save as a sequence. So you have to, we are going to use this guy. So you can see here immediately, it's going to save like one, two, three, four, five. And immediately this is uh, in, in activated. So you want to start frame from one and end frame to 150 and by the interval by one frame. So you have to enable this, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, and if you say close, I'm going to just render five, let's say, uh, just for now. Yeah, because I wanna uh, move on to the next exercise, uh, uh, putting them into a video. Okay, so let's go back. We are st still here, it's okay. Uh, there was one image, I'm gonna just delete it. Okay, and render and close, and it's going to automatic render frame by frame by frame. Yeah. So yeah, just before you hit, and uh, you just let it go for a few, and then make sure it's rendering, and then you go to sleep. Yeah. You see now it's uh, updated to second frame, 
and so on and so forth. And if I just leave it there, it's going to render. Uh, if I set it 750, it's, it's going to be rendering uh, for that amount of time. OK. So I think I want to stop it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, it's only five renders, so I'm going to leave it. And it's keep on saving it here. <clears throat> so you will see that they are changing. They should be changing slightly. Maybe they were too slow. Yeah, it's going to the fifth frame and so on. Yeah, so I have uh, an earlier example, didn't render it that well, but I have an example that I rendered as a sequence. So it's uh, 150 frames for this guy. So it's same process, like it's rendered with dispatch render and then saved as a folder and I'm going to use this guy to create a mp4 video 